My high school was built in the early 1950s. It had been falling apart for years. Ironically, this rundown building is where I fell in love with architecture. I started attending the University of Utah in the fall of 2015. I had a part-time job at a grocery store near the university and I was staying at my uncle's house, which is about an hour away from the school. Uh, I soon realized that I couldn't afford to pay for the gas for an hour drive twice a day. I don't recommend this to anyone, but I started living out of my van. I would uh, find a place on campus to park and try to stay warm for the night. In the morning, I would shower at the school gym, go to class, study all day, and then try to make it to uh, work on time at the grocery store once, the, once class ended. I got some help from family and friends and got out of that situation, but I think the thing that uh, kept me going at the hardest times was my passion for architecture. I think the reason I love architecture so much is that even when life's at its most challenging, it allows me to express creativity in so many diverse ways and at the same time learn a skill that I believe can make the world a better place. We live in a world where basic housing isn't affordable to everyone who needs it. Uh, a lot of our buildings leave negative impacts on our environment, and I want to be part of the solution. I live much closer to the university now, and I have a full-time job. Balancing academic advancement with providing for myself and staying out of debt is still challenging, but I've learned something. Even though passion is often associated with natural enthusiasm or talent, above all, passion is nothing without dedication and deliberate practice because that's what it takes to make something great. My name is Tristan Eaton and I live Moss. <laughs>